More than three years ago, Miguel Cotto and Antonio Margarito provided a thrilling testament to boxing's beauty and brutality. Cotto chopping and chopping with the left hand, Margarito firing with the right. It's a punch, counterpunch, confrontation. As they battled for welterweight supremacy and the pride of their people, it was a skillful display of the offensive brilliance that had made the Puerto Rican boxer a star. Terrific left hooks by Cotto. And a tribute to the Mexican fighter's relentless pressure and enduring will. Margarito is starting to develop the volume which has typified his career. In the 11th round, though, a clear victor emerged. The punishment has accumulated to the point where Cotto has nothing left. Antonio Margarito has the victory he's been waiting for all his life. And a beaten man suffered his first professional loss. An epic fight with an epic conclusion. Six months later, Margarito would go on to face Shane Mosley. But a pre-fight discovery. Just minutes ago, an illegal pad was found in Margarito's gloves. Cast a shadow of suspicion over his prior meeting with Cotto. He used the bluster, the night of the fight with me. He looks and he act like a criminal. Nunca peleado con algo ilegal. Ni nunca lo haría. This evening, the long-awaited rematch, laced with coveted vengeance for the perceived wrongs of the past. Margarito is not a man, and the result is going to be different. And a search for vindication of the previous result. I told him personally, to him, face to face, I said, so if you give me a chance, I'll give you a chance to win. Amid escalating hatred and anxiety, both men look for victory to regain their place among the sports elite. For the six months following his victory, Margarito was one of the hottest fighters in the sport. But then came the controversy of the Mosley bout and the consequent renewed scrutiny of his victory over Cotto. No one was more suspicious than Cotto himself. And the boxer has since closely examined pictures of Margarito's hand wraps taken after their bout and determined something peculiar. No one, the history of boxing, and see a hand wrapping broken over the knuckles. You never can find an explanation for this little part here. It's just supposed to be just gas. And the gas doesn't get hard, you know? Ay, ese coto, ese coto, como llora, como, como, como pone pretextos. Cotto acknowledges that the redness is dye from the leather of the gloves that commonly leaks through to the wraps during the course of a long fight. But he points to another set of photos of Margarito's confiscated wraps taken before the Mosley fight. As further proof of his argument that Margarito used the exact same hardened wraps in both bouts. They took off the hand wraps in his locker room, right? They didn't put a gloves, a glove on, on his hand. Why the hand wraps have a red color there if you didn't put a glove in your hand? If you compare the red in this picture, with this picture, it's in the same spot. And if they took this one from Mosley fight, it's the same wraps he used in my fight. That pictures make me understand he used it with me. For Cotto and his team, though, the issue remains unforgettable, and the sin unforgivable. He played with my health, you know, he has plaster on his hand, hitting me with the, with the plaster, you know. Thanks God again, I'm healthy, but the thing could be worse. At the time of his first bout with Margarito, Cotto's camp was led by another member of his family, his father. Long the guiding force behind the boxer's career, but last January, Miguel Cotto Sr. died suddenly of respiratory arrest from complications of asthma. And Juana was compelled to replace him as a daily presence in camp. He was everything. 
he was a person who wake me up every morning, no matter if I don't want to wake up. I have to do it because I have a commitment with myself. He was a wonderful guy. And then there's the more palpable tribute depicted over his left shoulder. The face of my father. He's here. And he watched my back. Come out uh, tears of blood. From his eyes, come out tears of love. And I know I'm going to have a fifth person on December 3rd, oh my corner. That's going to be my father. Tocan las manos, tocan, tocan, por favor, tocan las manos, tocan, come on Antonio, touch his gloves Antonio, good, now you go. Revenge or repeat. The witching hour in New York. Left and right by Cota. Hand speed difference should be immediately apparent as it was in the first fight. Cota lands a combination, steps away. I think Miguel is intending to fight the entire fight this way by boxing, moving, changing directions, taking advantage of the slower foot and hand speed. Of Margarita. Right hand and Cotto was short with the uppercut, but he landed the straight right. Miguel is getting away with it, but I don't know if he can continue to do this because Margarita is stepping up his pace right now. So, so far, a lot like the first fight. Like the first Very fight. much like the first fight. But it appeared that Cotto had the advantages in round one. Power shots landed, at least by CompuBox. Vision, their view of the fight, Cotto had the advantages of round one. He seems to be picking and it punches off and a lot sharper than I expected. Cotto blocking Margarito's right hand with his left. Good left took by Cotto. He's doing a serious operation on Margarito's face right now. Miguel Cotto has not touched the ropes. That's very important. Punishment. Hard right hand by Cotto. Prepared to, prepared to go 12 rounds at this pace. Another good combination by Cotto. Crowd is warming up. Margarito says that Cotto punches like a girl, quote unquote. But what they are doing is scoring. The first fight, and Margarito. There's blood in Margarito's right eye. One, two, three. Another thing that Garcia said between rounds is throw your right hand. Now it's Margarito who's against the ropes, but fighting off the ropes. And Cotto's attacking him because he wants to keep taking advantage of that eye. Good left hook by Cotto. But, but Cotto's fighting as though he doesn't have the same fear of Margarito's punches in their first fight. Cotto counter-punching and effectively so. He ate a couple of uppercuts there, though. That's the punch that hurt him so much the first time around. Good clean shots by Cotto. Cotto took a lot of movement on that. Good left by Cotto. Three punch combination. Finished with a left hook in the area of the eye. Accurate punching by Cotto, and his accuracy is going up now as Margarito's eye stays closed. Margarito still stalking, stalking, stalking. Cotto stands his ground and rips him with a left hook to the chin. Body shot and a left hook upstairs. Of the way 
way through. Oh. It's over. It's over, and revenge is sweet. And even when he did find the target, Emmanuel, his punches weren't as hard. No, it was not as hard. What? Miguel, you got your revenge. How does it feel? Good, you know, I made my work. I won the fight, and thanks to all the, all the crowd here. Thanks a lot, I love you. After the fight was stopped, you went to Margarito's corner and stared at him for what seemed like quite a while. Why? Just to look at him, you know, and taste my victory on him. Congratulations, champ. Thank you. Jim. Thanks very much, Max and Emmanuel. Terrific night in Madison Square Garden. This pay-per-view card was everything we expected it would be.